and welcome to Insight, the program where we take a deep dive into the companies, the people, or the issues that are making a difference in our industry. I'm Alan Peaford. Now, there's no question that data is making the big difference in everything we do around aviation, whether it's for predictive maintenance, for route efficiencies, and even looking at how people carry out their roles. Technology is changing all the time. And no surprise that one of the companies at the forefront of the drive to data and the technology to establish it is L3 Harris. We're joined today by Robin Glover 4 from the company's commercial aviation business. Robin, welcome. Now we talked a while back about the L3 Harris Survivor 25, which is the next generation line of the 25 hour cockpit voice and data recorders. That was actually quite a technological breakthrough, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And, um, you know, L3 Harris Commercial Aviation uh, provides a 360 degree approach to supporting pilots and operators and manufacturers with a full suite of capabilities. The Survivor 25 series is obviously part of that. Um, it's the first deployable solution. Um, it exceeds the minimum standards uh, and it replaces uh, the older technology with a device that can analyze, uh, report out for all flights uh, and provide flight and equipment data for, for operator use. And we're certainly finding the, uh, the data and the facility of being able to connect the data outflow uh, through Wi-Fi. So uh, you're connecting with our uh, customers' systems allows them, of course, to, to download the data, analyze it, uh, and we can then support them with tools that, to, that enable them to analyze the, the data that comes from the, uh, from the Survivor 25. So it does the basics, but it goes way beyond that into the next generation of data analytics. Well, flight data services and data analytics really are changing aviation operations. And of course, L3 and Harris merging brought two major technology companies together. Now you've been together for a while now, so opposed to the pre-Harris merger, how are you approaching things differently? Yes, well, you know, clearly um, the merger occurred before uh, the pandemic. It was a big event in itself, our merger, but then of course the pandemic followed. So uh, we've now successfully uh, integrated the two businesses. We've benefited hugely by the broader portfolio that being L3 Harris uh, brings to our customers. Um, we've consolidated commercial aviation uh, with our avionics products. So we've talked about the Survivor 25, but we also uh, are market leaders in the ADSB uh, retrofit solution. We do ADSB in, ADSB out solutions. Uh, and, and we've had the, been able to leverage the merger to be able to uh, provide the investment uh, and, a, and the breadth of, uh, of our portfolio to our customers. Uh, on the pilot training side, uh, we uh, continue to have our pilot training academies. We train pilots in uh, the US under FAA regulations. We also train pilots in Europe under EASA, and we train pilots from the Asia PAC region in both uh, EASA and indeed in the FAA. So we're, we're still training pilots. And then on our uh, simulator side of the business, where we uh, produce simulators, you know, we've continued to embed into our simulators the very latest data uh, analytic technology that, that you've uh, described. So what we can now do is offer a, a, a fully integrated data analytic solution, data that can be downloaded from the aircraft in live operations, data that can be downloaded from our simulators to uh, improve continuous improvement uh, training, uh, working with our pilot instructors to use the data analytics to provide more effective training. We've also broadened our simulator training products. So we've launched recently with uh, Lufthansa, uh, a flight training device that has all the uh, benefits of a full flight simulator. It doesn't have the motion, but it's providing a much more cost-effective way to combine with a full flight simulator to give the motion cues, but then giving them broader um, training time using the blend of the devices. So these uh, advances we've made in training have been enabled really by the merger, and we've used the time during the, uh, the, the COVID pandemic to continue to invest in our uh, pilot training uh, products. And then finally, on the avionics side, where we've really consolidated uh, into the uh, data analytics that we're providing in the terms of aftermarket support. So our customers 
have, have uh, come to us and we've aligned our global uh, position with our customers' needs, provided them a, a strengthened aftermarket solution and aftermarket services. And we're finding that the data analytics and, and using our, our uh, data download, but also our uh, data scientists, um, we have uh, an arrangement, for example, with IATA, where our data scientists use uh, de-identified data, but a huge data pool that allows us to uh, measure uh, events that we see on the line against the industry average. So those are just a few things that we've been doing since the merger and during the pandemic. Now, we're very interested, of course, in the emerging markets. And one of the things that's in, been interesting me that you just mentioned there was the retrofitting of ADSB out. I think that's quite unusual. And that's something that's going to be very important for those parts of the world we're using older aircraft or, of course, aircraft that might not have used this technology before. And, of course, it can make huge improvements for airlines. Then there's flight training and MRO training as well. And these are important to the emerging markets of India, Africa and the Middle East. How do you see that going? Do you see a big involvement for L3 Harris? Yes, I do. Um, I mean, certainly um, we have a we, we support our, our business um, helicopter uh, customers so that market uh, is is already recovering uh, we have many of our products uh, on those aircraft and you mentioned the uh, adsb in and and across uh, commercial aviation but also uh, in business uh, jets what adsb does is it of course enhances the situation awareness of pilots but what that allows is procedures to be developed for example increasing the flow rates into airports which provide real economic benefit and utilization benefits of the the flow rates into airports which um, you know we'll get back i think relatively quickly to a situation where our airports will require uh, efficient airspace and efficient use of that airspace adsb is right in that space and then on the crowded corridors adsb allows uh, you know, greater use of the vertical airspace and allows uh, greater use of you know, busy corridors between city pairs. So you know, we do see uh, ADSB uh, being something that will you know, be adopted uh, and retrofitted, as you rightly say, across the fleet as we move forward over the next uh, couple of years. The, the other area of uh, development that uh, we're seeing is also the uh, advanced uh, air mobility or the urban mobility market. I mean, a lot of um, investment um, and frankly, uh, projections looking forward, which will see that market uh, expanding in the 24, 25 uh, timescales. We're already uh, investing in, in, in solutions for, for those type of aircraft. Of course, uh, weight is a, is a critical part of, of the successful design of those devices. Uh, we're in that space with designing uh, flight data recorders, uh, cockpit re voice recorders that are, that are low on weight, but with the same capability. And we see that market growing going forward over the next couple of years. And then finally, uh, developing our, our data analytics solutions, which really is the thread that goes through all of our, our products. We use data analytics in our pilot training at our academies. We use data analytics in our simulators for training professional pilots. We use data analytics in the data that we download from our recorders on board the aircraft. And you bring all that together in a data pool, you can generate a much safer environment, a more efficient environment, and frankly, be more effective in, in the way that you build safer skies. And we think these are the themes that airlines and our customers will be looking for as they rebuild after the uh, after the pandemic. So the past 18 months have been pretty tricky. How has L3 Harris been able to interact with customers? How have you managed? Well, well our prime focus has frankly been to support our customers. I mean, clearly, uh, you know, our customers have seen in, in the last 18 months, uh, you know, significant uh, falls in their revenues, uh, a drop off of uh, demand and therefore capacity. Uh, and we've been working with our customers to continue to support them through that time, maintaining their aircraft. You know, I mentioned about the aftermarket and the services side of our business. That's been a key focus for us to ensure that we've been able to uh, support our customers uh, with that lower demand. And what we're seeing now is the demand is starting to rebuild, particularly in the US market, but also uh, in the Asia PAC market is you know, as our customers emerge, they're looking for uh, different types of solutions. Uh, in, in some cases, off balance sheet solutions, if it's our training equipment, um, and they're looking for us to provide um, a, a means by which we can recover 
uh, our uh, training capa capacity within the industry, but in a way that is actually cost effective and equally as effective. So we've worked with our customers to provide uh, new solutions. In some cases, that's uh, power by the hour solutions. In some cases, different types of financing. So in many ways, looking forward, the new normal is going to be difficult and we're going to be more focused, I guess, on the economy. Now, things are tough at the moment for airlines and those related businesses. So, Robin, how do you characterise what, or what do you feel is the real value for working with L3 Harris? Well, we're a long term partner. Um, we've got 60 years um, heritage um, supporting airlines uh, in the training uh, side of our business, on the avionics side of our business. Uh, and you know, when we work with customers, they know they're working with, with an organization uh, that is, uh, has the strength and the, the depth of uh, engineering expertise that can support our customers with the solutions that they need going forward. We know aviation uh, constantly strives to increase the, the safety uh, lower the incident rate um, across the whole industry. And to do that, we need to adopt uh, new technologies. We need to address uh, the use of airspace with uh, you know, greater use of things like ADSB in. And we need to look at how we train our pilots and using you know, data analytics and uh, using the very latest and most effective ways of training pilots. Evidence-based training is a classic example. Evidence-based training needs data. And if you can pull the data, you can use the traditional uh, human skills of instruction, but equip our training instructors with data that gives clearer insights. And of course, the trainee uh, benefits from being able to see how their performance uh, uh, plays out in the simulator, but also how their performance uh, it, it, it occurs on the line as well. And we can integrate all of that and give our pilots uh, you know, solutions that show them the areas where the operation is strong, where the operation perhaps needs to be developed, and then apply the training in a, in a quite a surgical way to actually improve the skills across the whole training community. So it's really exciting uh, in the sense that we're, you know, we're using the technology, we're using the investment to take uh, the safety uh, and the effectiveness of the industry forward as, as we uh, return to uh, a growth period in the coming years. Robin, it sounds great for the industry and it's great to have a future and it's great to know that you're building it. So thank you very much for joining us on the programme today. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. So that was Robin Glover 4 from L3 Harris Commercial. L3 Harris will be at the Dubai Air Show in November, and I, for one, will be looking forward to seeing more about the data that's making a difference and the delivery of the technology that surely moves us fast forward. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.